Hey guys, I'm back with our battle video. This was against 774 from Japan. Who will survive? This guy had quite the team, and he was a very high-rated opponent in the high 1800s. Yeah, he was a pretty good opponent. He was leading with Aromatis, Politoed, and Kingdra. I've never battled against Aromatis, so I wasn't sure what he was going to do. I know Kingdra doesn't like Talonflame or Hitmontop. You know, I figured both his water types protect here. I had no idea what his Aromatis was going to do. I figured, you know, let the Kingdra waste protect and off it next turn with the... Or at least try to off it. So I didn't go for a fake out. I went for a feint against... The, well, he he actually switched his Kingdra for Amoongus right off the bat. I went for a feint against the Politoed, thinking it was going to protect. You know, I was thinking, you know, break the protect, hit it with a Brave Bird. You know, try to, you know, do what I can. Feint it. It takes... The Brave Bird. It's in the red, but whatever. Set the Tailwind up. Kind of wish I would have taken it out, but whatever. It uses Parish Song, which surprises me. I'm just thinking, okay, what? Okay. He used Parish Song? Okay, I can, I'll have to get my Pokemon out of here. And then he used Trick Room, so my Tailwind was just pointless. It just, ugh. So the Parish Song count falls for everyone. Ooh. So right here, I'm thinking... You know, I gotta take out this Amoongus. It's probably gonna Rage Powder. I could protect, but it, it's probably either gonna try to Rage Powder or Spore things. I did go for the Rage Powder. Didn't really matter because I was targeting anyway with my Talon Flame. Get that priority Brave Bird. So even though the Trick Room's up, I still would have gone before him if he would have used Spore. But he didn't Spore, he didn't protect, he Rage Powder. And there goes his Amoongus. His Amoongus is down. And now his Aromatisse disabled my Brave Bird, so I can't really do anything. I'm going to have to switch out next turn, and then my Mandibus just got Encore, so I'm just stuck tailwinding. It's just, ugh. And there's everyone's Parish Song count falls. Aw. Oh. And now he sends in his Wobbuffet, so I can't switch out Talon Flame. I can't switch out Mandibus, so I got two useless Pokemon right now. And I got my Trevenant there, who's just bomb. He's on So look, even though I was choiced into Brave Bird, I got Encored and I'm disabled, so I can't really do anything. There's <laughs> Tailwind. Talonflame does nothing, it struggles. Oh, and the Trevenant Leech Seed missed, I'm pretty sure. Forgot to say that. And there goes the Paris Song Count. Ooh. So sent in Star Raptor. I, I'm in a tailwind, it's not good. So I'm gonna try to. He goes for a heal pulse against his. Against his Polytoad, heals it. He Parish Songs again. So now Trevenant and Wobbuffet and Star Raptor are all Parish Song, and they got three turns to go. Wobbuffet charms the Star Raptor, weakens the Brave Bird that's going against Aromatisse. Avoided another Leech Seed. Like, Wobbuffet avoided a Leech Seed. I missed two Leech Seeds in a row with Trevenant. It doesn't... Ugh. It's ugly. It's nasty. Here comes the Brave Bird. It doesn't do much damage at all. Like, oof. The Encore ended. Now the Paris Song count fell. This Here's the thing. Why didn't he switch out his Pokemon? Like, why did he let his Pokemon die to Paris Song? Like, this guy has... Like, Encore disabled me. He is... This guy's a skilled opponent. Why would he just let his Pokemon die like that? Was did and there's Mandibuzz is gone too. Does Shadow Tag prevent? If anyone knows, please answer this. Does Shadow Tag prevent like your your own Pokemon from switching out too? Like, what's the deal with that? So now he sends out his last two Pokemon, Kingdra and Jigglypuff, since I took out the Amoongus, and two of his Pokemon died because of his own Parish Song. I'm liking how it's going so far, and since he's been doing those disables and encores, I'm not using fake out right here. I'm going for that, but I forget that Mock Punch doesn't do super effective damage against Jigglypuff anymore. And there goes my Mock Punch. My Mock Punch is disabled, and now I'm encored. Like, what is going on? This guy knows what he's doing. Why would he let his Pokemon die like that? And now Trevenant's like, you know, screw the Leech Seed. I'm going to curse that Kingdra because... That Kingdra is the biggest threat to me at this point. Jigglypuff and Wobbuffet aren't that threatening. It's just the Kingdra that I gotta worry about at this point. Go for a Brave Bird against the Kingdra. 
I outspeed it under a trick room even though I'm scarfed because that because of that Swift Swim King just got he goes for a dragon pulls and it doesn't kill my Star Raptor, which leads me to think he invested in bulk. Like I'm surprised that Dragon Pulse didn't kill me. It's, is it that extra 10 special defense that Star Raptor's got this gen? I don't know. Like, I think he's just invested in bulk myself. Like, this guy's got strategy, knows what to do. So there goes the Trick Room. The Trick Room's gone. I switched Trevenant out. I'm not, I'm not stuck in there because of the Shadow Tag because I'm a Ghost type or Trevenant's a Ghost type. I can switch out a Shadow Tag, which is good. I go for a Brave Bird, so I outspeed it here when I didn't outspeed it before. So I must be speed tied, and I got the better end of the speed tied both times. Deal some damage, Star Raptor goes, dies from the recoil, here goes the Dragon Pulse, going against the Hitmontop, Hitmontop takes it fairly well, and Hitmontop has no moves left, and struggles. <laughs> like, this guy knows what he's doing, but I, I don't understand why he didn't switch out his Aromatisse and Politoed back there, like... <laughs> Makes no sense to me. Can someone please explain that? Please, someone give me some kind of explanation. And there's that curse, damn it. I love watching that nail go through Pokemon. Ooh, yeah. Bye-bye, Kingdra. You got killed. That pair song count fell to one. Here comes the Trevenant. I'll go for the Earth Power against the Jigglypuff. Wobbuffet's going to die at the end of the turn, so just got to take out the Jigglypuff, and that's it. Earth powered it, did significant damage. He thought I was physical based because he was like, put up the reflect, charmed me, but didn't matter. I was special based. And here's the Leech Seed. Leech Seeded you that time, Wobbuffet. And then Wobbuffet used Charm right here. He thinks my Nidoking's physical based. I guess that added 10 in Nidoking's attack makes the special Nidoking a little more unpredictable, but the special one's way better, if you ask me. Suck Wobbuffet's life, heal a little bit, Trevenant's looking good, and then Wobbuffet dies because he Parasonged. So he defeated himself with Parasong, high rated opponent, I don't understand how that happened, can someone please give me some kind of explanation for that? Alright guys, thanks for watching, take care, hope you enjoyed that, if you guys want to battle, send me a challenge, I will not back down. Alright, late.